gameplay wise and today I have for you a special video coming from the Halo Council and it's a breakdown of the new map Abandoned. First out, big shout out to the Halo Council for making this awesome video. Uh, they put some call outs there so it makes it a little easier to understand what I'm talking about and at the same time a big thanks to Euphorix and hopefully the Halo Council guys for not getting too mad at me when I borrow their video. Thanks guys, I'm not doing this to make any money off you. Anyway, this uh, the reason I'm making this video is because there's been a lot of chatter in the community recently about whether or not Abandon will work as a map for competitive play. And there's been a huge number of opinions on both sides of the both sides of the aisle. Some people are loving it, some people are hating it, and a lot of people are sitting in the middle. I would consider myself more to the side of liking it, but at the same time, I'm sitting in the middle because you can't really know what a map is going to look like until you see gameplay on it. And this is just kind of a map overview of it. However, I think a very important distinction needs to be made is that I don't think Asylum is a Slayer map. I think Asylum is a pure objective-based map, and it's important that we have one of those in a competitive environment, because the issue is by limiting our map pool to something that works for both Slayer and Flag, you throw a lot of the other good game types out. You throw out Bomb, you throw out Oddball, you throw out King of the Hill. A lot of the times those game types, or those game types have to have a made map custom made for them in Nexus, or it's a map that failed in everything else for Slayer. Look at Oddball. And it's important and if you look at how if you look at how game types have evolved over the past couple of years, especially in MLG, there was one ball map that really worked, and they had a bunch of failed ball maps in Lockdown and in Heretic. They've got a bunch of flag maps, they have a bunch of slayer maps, and they have one King of the Hill map in Construct, and that is a recycled slayer map at the same time. Now, the issue is that every the big issue is that everyone really looks at these maps as in do these work as slayer maps and then do they look at flag and then they look at everything else i think with uh, abandoned we have finally a unit a multitasker I almost said unitasker a multitasker objective based map and that and with that we get a great oddball map and we can have a great king of the hill uh map because you don't have to really worry about spawns as much as you would in a Slayer or Flag map because the objective is constantly moving. In Slayer, you know, there's going to be a setup and then you have to break that setup. In Flag, it's you have to kill the entire team, run the flag, and then the team that's spawning has to be able to defend that flag reasonably. With Oddball, it's just there's a ball, there's where the ball initially spawns and there's your initial placement there and then there it's a getting a setup in a certain location, breaking that setup, moving the ball to your own location, etc, etc. In King of the Hill, you have a constantly varying objective. It's moving two to three times. It's moving to two to three different locations about six to eight times a game, depending obviously on the time limit. And especially with the new oddball mechanics and how you can throw the ball and toss the ball and how it will react like a grenade. It'll bounce off walls, it'll roll. It Abandon is an excellent map for that because you can throw the ball to your teammates, you can bounce it around walls if you're going to die, you can you know push it out into an area that's easily defendable if your team is coming off spawn, and it works really well. King of the Hill, you have a top hill and you have two side hills in both purple and like dark platform on the dark side. And the best part about this map is that you can work the spawns properly. Say for Oddball, you have the Oddball spawning ring 3, and then you have one power weapon. That power weapon, say, it sits in, uh, in purple or even like on a tree at the at the tree platform you can see pulling through right here. That is where, say, the sniper rifle sits. And then you have to think, okay, well, what do I go for? Do we go for ball initially? Do we go for um, the objective initially? What do we do? With blue teams, say, spawning in blue dirt and red teams spawning on floor closer to purple, and you can adjust the movement speed and the sprint speed and anything you want to adjust to the point where the movement paths and the movement speed, whichever they take, are going to be the exact same and they both have an even chance of getting to the objective or the power weapon. And then it's just up to what the team decides they want to do. Um, that In that way, I think Abandon will work really well as an objective-based map because the, asymmet the asymmetry doesn't limit only, the asymmetry only limits you in the um, realm of initial spawns afterwards your teammates positions where the objective is that's what's going to influence your spawns and you just have to set up a spawn system around an objective based game type rather than a rather than a rather than a map that's used for uh, everything for slayer and for and for objective games and in that way you don't have um, too much concern when it comes to the asymmetry of the map which is a big concern for a lot of people. 
Well, guys, the gameplay is wrapping up. I hope you enjoyed my breakdown. Uh, obviously, I am still new with these. If there's anything you think I can improve upon, please leave me a comment. I always love constructive criticism. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please leave your opinions, uh, what you guys think of Abandon, and uh, what you would like to see change if you want to see it as a map in the map pool for uh, competitive play. But as always, guys, my name is Dr. Mongoose. Please watch two of my videos and call me in the morning.